vehicle reported as stolen. You purchased this car from Coons Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. Okay. And the ownership papers? From the same place. If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. Okay. Motive for flight. You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No. Nothing like that. Let's watch him. Maybe rapid blinking's his lie. You better give us something, Cliff, or we're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because... because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. How much, Cliff? One reefer. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. Okay. Vehicle purchase details. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. Blinking, buddy. He drew up a special deal for you, didn't he, Harrison? Give it up. Where did the car come from? I already told you. This is outrageous. I'll be making an official complaint. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. You've got to be kidding me. I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Baggest possessions is evidence. Have him arraigned for Grand Theft Auto. Right, Detective. Do you know who my father is? We need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. You know the way. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Cliff's Automotive. You know what? I think he's telling the truth. Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're called politicians. <laughs> Not another step. I have got a Buick Century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you. I'm ready to Detective offend Phelps, another guy. Detective Phelps, LAPD. Are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs, at your service. You looking to trade in a black and white, boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Coombs. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. <laughs> this guy's a little weird. That's a joke, too, son. Mm. Helps. you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. <laughs> There it is. Got the original pink slip there, too. Gene Archer, 146 North Fremont Avenue. Okay. What about this one? Harrison's purchase receipt was legit, at least. So it's where they got the car. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. 
Details of the transaction. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. Truth. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Hmm. Describe the suspect. Can you describe this Gene Archer? Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. <laughs> Truth. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed, in a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the type. Check payment details. When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Combs? Close of play on Friday. Doubt. Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. Suspicious transaction. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. Yeah, right. You're lying, Coombs. You knew the car was stolen. You have some sort of crystal ball tucked in your jacket that can help you prove it? Stolen vehicle report. You should try rubbing some oil on that hard head of yours. Are we done here? Thanks for your help, Mr. Coombs. We need to continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy, please. You have a pleasant day, Mr. Coombs. <laughs> Did you double check all the paperwork? Who's it made out to? What next? Did you double check all the paperwork? Who's it made out to? Oh. Harrison might be off the hook, but we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Get on the yep. horn and call it in. Where's the phone? Ah, oh, there it is. I think there's like phones everywhere. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. I'll relay the information. I need an address on a marquee printing company. Marquee Printing Company, sure. Just a moment. Aliso Street, near San Pedro. 
Messages, please. A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thanks, ma'am. I'll come by when I feel like it. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Uh, where are we going? From the printing company. Sounds weird, but let's do it. This is a Here's a chicken and egg question for you. Do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars? Or that selling cars turns you into an asshole? You've got it in for everyone today, haven't you? I've always got it in for car sales. It doesn't matter what day it is. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line just to get the hell out of there. Makes sense. I'll buy that. I don't know what we're going to ask here, but... Investigating alleged communist influence and infiltration in the movie That's the guy. I heard he's an honest cop. Now there's an oxymoron for you. And what can I do for you, gentlemen? Hello. I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am, Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. We'll keep it in mind. What do you think, man? Any ideas? We could always try the address Archer gave. <laughs> Maybe she's dumb enough to be sitting at home waiting for us. Fair enough. Can you drive to this one? So, where do you want to go? So far, so good. Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. We should go to the station, see what this Belasco guy has to say. And I'm here today to offer you. You're behind the wheel. All right. Where to? Elway PD. Elegant houses, price competitively. Let's go offend some more people. Oh, that dude just disappeared. Detectives, Belasco is prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit papers. Thanks. Someone tells me that paper company's lying. The main because... reason Santa's so jolly is because he knows where all the bad girls are. Well, anyway. Crummy bastard. Look at you and your funny James little jacket. James Belasco? I want a lawyer. It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. You're a real asshole. You know that? The paper is real enough, Belasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. This guy's got a screw loose. Yeah, it doesn't match the last one. Stolen audio... Yeah, Stolen auto... Career. Where were you taking the car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. Yeah, 
You're a cry bitch. Doubt. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm gonna ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at ten years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. Keep talking and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Interesting. Association with Archer. Does the name Jean Archer mean anything to you? Nope. Never heard of her. You're being a little shifty-eyed, but I can't tell if you're just nervous. Um... I'm gonna go with doubt. You want my partner here to convince you that you do know her? I'm giving you the straight dope. I don't know no Gene Archer. Okay. Out of racket theft. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state lines? I don't know. I just deliver them. Probably true. You. Ah, uh, true. I want to know um, about the ownership papers. Who do you get them from? I pick them up along with the car. Always from a different guy. Every time. You had a chance to cooperate, Velasco. Crap. See you in ten years when you get out. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California. The Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street, near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightvol. Gordon Lightvol. Here, I wrote it down. We just talked to that asshole. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. But we already went there. The guy gave his wife a tap. I said, I'll spare him. Girl. Your GTA suspect, Gene Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! She won't hang around. The guy gave his wife a tap. Stay all fair in love and war. You can drive. It'll only take a little while longer than that. My acting has a lot of fun. I have real talent. LAPD. We'll take it from here. God damn it. Everyone's against me. Look, just let me get my money and get out of here, okay? You look sweet. How about giving a girl a break? I could be very nice. I'm afraid I can't do that, Miss Archer. Stefan, call for black and white. Just my luck to get the only hair sure cop in the LAPD. Stolen Kaiser The car you fish. sold to Coombs was stolen, Miss Archer. There won't be any money. I handed over all the right paperwork when I sold it, Buster. I know you did. No. Calm down, Jean. Just tell me why you sold the car. You're sweet. You really are. But just get the fuck out of my way. Wow. Association with Belasco. How long have you and Belasco been delivering cars? Who is James Belasco? You know him. He's your boyfriend. He's the guy you boost cars with. He gave you up. He thinks you're so dumb you'd steal a free sample. So I'm no genius. I make the best with what I've got. Why are you so cruel? You decided to make this hard on yourself, Jean. Let's see how you handle the hard time. <sighs> I'm so bad at this. So bad.
He's a waste in the police force. Good-looking boy like that should go into politics. 